Hi, writers. Okay, sometimes the best way to get a sense of what's possible in a new genre is to look at what experts do. So that is why we've looked at multiple memoirs this week. Um, we've looked at Aaron Ralston's Between a, Rock, Between a Rock and a Hard Place that really kind of like tackled his mental toughness in like one of the most challenging um, moments of his whole life. And then we looked at Jeanette Wall's um, The Glass Castle expert, which talked about like her complicated relationship with her mother because she has money and the mom is choosing um, to be homeless and live on the streets. And it just brought up a lot of like issues um, with her, with her family and just like how different, uh, differently she was raised than everybody else and um, just a, a major strain on her relationship with her and her mother. And today I want to teach you that writers read mentor texts, studying and admiring how professional memoirists tackle important topics, letting the reader in on truths that matter and revealing something about themselves. Um, then they let this writing wash over them and write what they need to write, not about the text themselves, but about their own ideas and lives and let the mentor text act, act as an inspiration to lead them towards their own truths about their own voices. Um, so when we, when we read yesterday the Glass Castle memoir with Jeanette Walls and it talks about, it really moved me because it talks about how um, she's embarrassed. Like when she sees her mother rummaging through the garbage, like how she's just so embarrassed. And then um, I thought that when I saw that, I thought it was really brave for her to write about that and talk about how, because um, it doesn't necessarily shed a great light on her that she's embarrassed of her own mother. And then you hear when they actually have an interaction and a conversation, she keeps trying to help the mom and the mom's making jokes like, oh, I, yeah, you can get me some electrolysis or whatever. And and you can tell that the parents have just been really difficult to deal with and the mom's okay with how she's living and it's just really hard for her daughter to accept. And I thought this was really um, a brave choice for her. And sometimes with memoirs, the most engaging memoirs are when people take a chance and talk about something really personal, um, things that are hard to talk about with their families. Um, uh, nope, nope, I'm on. So things that are hard to talk about with their families and... Um, or like with their own, like something they're struggling with internally. Um, I know with Aaron Ralston's memoir, he talked about like it was how hard it was for him to make the decision to cut off his arm to save his own life. Um, and how I, most people could not have done that. Like how mentally tough he had to be to like have that conversation with himself. Like this is how you're going to survive. Um, so when you guys are reading these, be, be looking at how they structure these texts. Be looking at how um, they introduce relationships and conflicts and just really be taking notes about your own, how you could do this, how you can mimic some of these strategies with your own writing. All right. I look forward to reading your writing.